Welcome to Mr. Barta's webinar on how to get your student into AH apps or how you yourself as a student can use AH apps and get into Google Classroom um, through your AH apps Gmail or Drive. So first and foremost you need to have a Chrome browser if you're going to go to Google Classroom because um, that is the browser that supports Google Classroom so that any attachments and PDFs all those types of things download a little nicer through that particular browser. Um, first uh, open up the browser and then type in google.com which will load you to this Google's home page. In the top right hand corner you're probably going to see a sign in button that looks like this. Hit the sign in button. Now since I'm already on here, it has my information, but you are going to create your uh, AHAPS account by using your first five letters of your first name, underscore, first five letters of your last name, then the last three digits of your student ID number. And then at ahapps.anoka.k12.mn.us. And then your student should have a password that is connected to this um, AHAPS account. Now, if your student does not have a password, then he needs to talk, he or she needs to talk to myself or another teacher at school to see if they can get the password changed or created a new one for them. All of my students who were at school the day we signed into Google Classroom do have AHAPS accounts and do have passwords available to them or that they created. So I'm going to get signed in. Now here's how you find the Google Classroom. There's two different ways. There's one way is to just simply Google Google Classroom. Now that's one way of doing it. So Google Classroom. And when you click on this, it'll type you, bring you to Google Classroom. You'll click on get into get to the classroom. You click this, um, and that should bring you to the classroom. There's also another way that I think is that students need to learn as well, which we're going to go back to google.com, and that is this way. Click on the apps in the top right-hand corner. You're going to go to your mail or your drive. doesn't really matter which one. Either way will work just fine. Click on mail. That way students get to check their mail. Go to apps again, down to more, and here's your Google Classroom icon right there. And there. They can click on that. I'm actually going to back up the process one more time to go back to here again. Notice that it has a brain pop um, application as well. This is great for students to use to practice for quizzes. You, they will be required to do this in eighth grade as well. But um, sometimes I'd like them to go on and use brain pop. So this is that avenue. So they sign into their AHAPS account, go to this, click on brain pop, and that would uh, allow them to use brain pop. So go to go into the classroom. Again, in their screen, they're probably only going to have one teacher, and that's going to be me, and it's going to say the hour that they have. But for the most part, I think there's a few kids that might have ELA or another subject that has a Google Classroom. But they need to find uh, my classroom So and my hour. So our whatever the case is, uh, hour four, if your student's in hour four of mine, they'd click on this classroom. And then there we are. We are in Google Classroom, and these are resources in which that students can study with. Um, I normally post all my PowerPoints and review things to practice before any type of quiz. Um, all of these are made available to you. Please use them at will whenever you feel necessary especially as parents and if students are struggling in certain areas. Um, this link right here actually shows you how to use your study cards and your learning targets to practice for quizzes. So that's an option for you as well. Now students are going to have a little different view. Since I'm the teacher, I have a little uh, a, a different view. Um, however, they still have the same access to the, each one of these tools. So uh, welcome to Mr. Barr's classroom, Google Classroom. And uh, thanks for stopping in.